we have worked extensively with adverbs and we know that adverbs are words which describe a verb, an adjective or another adverb. They give more meaning and information to a sentence. Now let us read the sentences given here. Tim is a lazy man. He hardly works. Jim wants a promotion, so he works hard. Now here, hardly and hard are both adverbs because they modify the verb works. So even though they somewhat sound similar, do you think we can interchange the use of hardly and hard? Well, you cannot because both hardly and hard portray different meanings. Now when we say he hardly works, we are actually trying to say that he works very little or almost not work at all. And when we say he works hard, we are trying to say that he puts in a lot of effort in his work. Mr. Smith is a very healthy man. He hardly never falls sick. Now do you think this sentence is correct grammatically? Well, this sentence is not correct. If we have to portray the same meaning in a correct sentence, we would write it as, Mr. Smith is a very healthy man. He hardly ever falls sick. So hardly ever is our adverb, which tells us that he almost never falls sick. So why is it? that we do not use hardly with never. Now hardly already has a negative sense and we do not use two negative sense words together. So we use hardly with ever and not with never. She came late to office today. Lately she has not been coming to office on time. Late Lately are both adverbs which portray different meanings. Late means not early. So when we say she came late to office today, we are saying that she did not come early to office today. And when we say lately she has not been coming to office on time, we are saying that recently in the past few days, she has not been coming to office on time. Ray is the most intelligent boy in class. Ben mostly eats out on weekdays. Most, mostly are similar sounding adverbs which portray different meanings. When we say Ray is the most intelligent boy in class, we are comparing Ray with the other boys in the class. So most is the superlative form of more. But when we say Ben mostly eats out on weekdays, we are saying that Ben mainly eats out on weekdays. Kids under 10 can ride free in this park. The kids were roaming freely in the corridor. Both free and freely are adverbs. But when we say kids under 10 can ride free in this park, we are trying to say that kids under 10 can ride without paying any money in this park. But when we say the kids were roaming freely in the corridor, we are saying that the kids were roaming without any control or limitation in the corridor. The mayor jumped high over the hurdles. Jim is a highly successful businessman. High, highly are both used as adverbs and they portray different meanings. When we say the mayor jumped high over the hurdles, we are saying that the mayor jumped at a level much above the bottom. And when we say Jim is a highly successful businessman. We are trying to say that Jim is a very successful businessman. The train stopped dead on its tracks. 
they are deadly serious about finding a cure. Dead, deadly are both adverbs used in different senses. When I say the train stopped dead on its tracks, I'm saying that the train stopped abruptly on its tracks. But when I say they are deadly serious about finding a cure, I'm saying that they are very serious indeed about finding a cure. Now that we have seen the correct usage of various similar sounding adverbs, let us do this exercise. Fill in the blank with the correct option. I like reading books, but I dash watch a movie. And the options given to us are hard and hardly. Now both hard and hardly are adverbs. We have seen that hard used as an adverb means to put in more effort. So this is not the correct option for this sentence. So the correct option for this sentence is, I like reading books, but I hardly watch a movie. So I'm trying to say that I like reading books, but I rarely or very little watch a movie. So today we have learned the correct use of some adverbs and we will soon learn more. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches, and many more, along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.